looks a little low. So I need to go put some hydraulic fluid in it. It just goes in right here. I've been having some problems with leaks around the wheels. So, uh oh, see that one? It's a port. This one is broke out and it's poured. Okay, I gotta go fix that. Hi folks, welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, I was out plowing potatoes, getting ready to plant my potatoes, and I noticed my tractor was having a problem with its hydraulics. And uh, let me show you what it is. I've got a rear seal on this rear axle that's pouring. Let me show you. See right here? Ow. See that? That's pulled plumb out. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to take a big crescent wrench and a mallet and try and put that back in place. But I don't know if that will stop the leaking. So the leaking looks like it's around the, the metal part of the seal that presses in. So I don't know if this will stop it. I may have to get some gasket sealant and put on that. I don't know. So let's get under here and see what we can do. I don't know which will be easier for me to get to this from, but, oh, let's see, yeah, it's a dripping pretty good, see it, all right, let's see if we can get this stopped. Okay, it stopped for this second. Oh, Ow. don't want to put my hand on the clutch. Okay, it's not up on the back side. So use that rubber mallet see if I can tap it up that's got it stopped leaking right this second but I don't think that'll hold Oh, I'm going to need to get some gasket sealant and put on that. Maybe that's enough to let me do my potatoes. I don't know. Now I've got some hydraulic fluid I brought down. I brought over from the shop. I always keep hydraulic fluid. It's just one of those things. You just need to keep it. So, that's pushed all the way back in, and uh, it's quit pouring the leak. You can see it's all over the tire here where it's been leaking. Okay, that's what was going on with the, uh, with the bucket when it didn't want to raise. Okay, it was bypassing and putting pressure on that, 
maybe that'll stay in I won't guarantee it I will go back and try and finish my plowing so I can do that but I don't want to spray hydraulic fluid all over my garden you know what I mean okay Get a little hydraulic fluid in there. Oh, I keep it. You never know when something's going to happen. And you need a little. So I keep five gallons around all the time. Well. Oh. Well, I can't. Come on, Joel. Lower. Okay, that's about a gallon. I'd say it didn't drip out more than that, so go back and give it a shot. Okay, I drove out here to the garden. Put it under pressure. But I know, I know in my heart I'll have to put some gasket on that. Okay. Okay, I've plowed for 200 feet. One down and one back, 100 foot rows. I plowed for 200 feet and it hadn't moved, okay? No leak, it hadn't moved. I'm still betting that uh, before this is over with, I'll have to put Permatex on that. A Permatex gasket and then push it back in. Now, what I figure is the there's got a little plastic piece on the inside that's on that axle and that's sealed. That's not what's leaking. It's leaking around where it presses into the housing so that's where it's leaking so I've I think I can put some Permatex Forma gasket on it and push that back in there and then let it dry and it ought to hold tight but that may not work either and I dread doing those those because you've got to take the axles out that may be more than an old guy can handle so all right okay I have plowed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred feet with a wheel seal pressed back in, and uh, it's not moved. It's not leaking. So I don't know. Uh, that's an odd thing. So hopefully, hopefully that'll hold. But I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. Who knows what it's going to do? So now, if you like this stuff, this homestead and do-it-yourself kind of thing, be certain to come on out to the channel and subscribe. We do this homestead stuff every week, sometimes one, sometimes five videos. Just depends on what's going on in the homestead that week. Now, if you hit the little bell when you come to the channel, it'll be right up here. It'll notify you when we upload a video. We upload on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Now, it's time for me to get on to another thing. Keep an eye on that in case I actually need to put a form of gasket on it and press it back in there. Okay?